goal of motor learning is really to engage the myelination process. And rather than me go deep into the science of what the myelination process is and discuss how myelin sheath forms around neural pathways to optimize brain connections, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to give it you in an, in an analogy. So if we look at this gentleman towards the bottom right of the screen, it would be really easy for him in this cornfield to walk that way because there's already a pathway there. Now, if he wants to change his pathway, if he wants to walk through here, that's going to be hard work. It's going to take time. It's going to be slow. It's not going to be very effective or very efficient. But if he walks through that pathway again and again and again and again, eventually it begins to look like the rest of the field. Now, the key to understanding motor learning is to know that that original pathway where the white arrow is, is always going to be there. So it's never about creating a new program. What it's about is about creating a program that's more dominant than the old. So this gentleman is walking down. It should be easier for him to turn left and go diagonally than straight on. And that's the goal of motor learning. All of this hard work and deliberate practice is to create these kind of neural maps in the brain.